Hey friends and welcome back to another energy weekly video. Well, we've got the full moon happening at the top of this week as well. So if you're looking for that, I'll put the link to the full moon in Aries right over there in the corner. Since I will be posting both this weekly and the full moon, um, posting them at the same time this week. So we're finally out of the Mercury shadow. I believe, uh, just in time for Mercury to move back into Libra. This week we have themes of dip diplomatic uh, communication, fairness, um, since it is also the full moon in Aries, you know, the flavor of self-respect. Uh, this week I feel is all going to be about um, finding freedom to be yourself, our day-to-day -day duties, um, versus greater ideas of philosophies or beliefs that we hold and what we want our life to stand for, right? So the mundane versus like these big ideas. That's coming from um, an interesting, um, on the 12th of this week, I believe that's Wednesday, there's an interesting alignment of certain aspects that sort of make all of those <laughs> energies um, true at the same time and then by the end of the week there is some ease right it's almost like we find some freedom to be ourself and now it's about building a strong foundation what else can i do the question for this weekend with the moon the gemini moon weekend what else can i do sharing ideas feelings exploration what can't you do what can or can't you do since we're moon theming, we've got the Moonology Oracle messages for this week. Full Moon Aquarius, show the world the real you. Definitely. First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. and the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. So it's almost like the cards are saying, asking, it's an invitation to step into your whatever, step into your power, step into your fill in the blank, something that feels authentic something that feels exciting as well, uh, but maybe isn't easy. It's not easy to show up as the real you. Let's find out why. Ace of Wands. Ah, this card's been following me around this weekend, so I'll take it as the energy, the overall energies. The Ace of Wands, that's inspiration, and it's also a brand new endeavor, like it, it's an adventure. Some people may actually literally be going on an adventure. I know I am this week. I'm going all the way to Sedona. Oh, that's not what I wanted. But I've seen it. <laughs> Let's take it. I'm going to Sedona on retreat with Anna Crystal. Um, I posted the link to that in the previous video. I'll go ahead and post it again for anybody who is last minute thinking they have the time, the resources, um, the desire uh, to come out and invest a week in some personal you know, self-development. I'll post the link to that just in case. Okay. First of all, this feels like chaos, like just instinctually, it feels like there's a lot going on here. Um, we have in order, starting with the top row, the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Star. Second row, Strength, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. See the progression there? And then third row, King of Swords, the Hierophant, and Temperance. Uh, so I see a lot of swords 
and there's actually quite a bit of there, there's actually a good mix of all energy in here like all there's like fire earth i see in the king of pentacles so something very powerful in terms of wealth or time or some some sort of abundance in the present moment it's like a message of abundance mm, but i feel that to get there to get to this huh it sounds like someone shows you what is abundant it doesn't just appear for you someone has to show it to you someone someone tells you about it um Maybe someone shows you your power. Uh, last week's video, you yourself are powerful. Maybe this is now coming closer. <laughs> it's closer to us now. If it hasn't come in for you yet, it's getting closer. Because now it's in like the present. I feel like there was um, a moment where you may have realized you were being too logical about something. Um, like as if if you the king of swords if you had committed your mind you made up your mind about something um, in a way that didn't necessarily consider how you felt I don't know if it's like a feeling thing but I see strength here so there's a lot of compassion strength is having compassion for self in the face of fear so has there been something that has made you afraid um, recently um, because it is the full moon in Aries, there there are ego lessons in that. Um, go go check out that video. I know it's going to be a super powerful one. Um, yeah, I feel like there, there there's reasons to need to have faith th this week. I think that you're really passionate and excited about something, and this has to do with your identity and what you're actually committing yourself to. And it says the answers you need are coming. So yeah, the answer being something about abundance, something about wealth, something about power. And then in the future, we have the star, the knight of swords and temperance. Um, what can I say? You know, Maybe I should not sugarcoat. I feel like, honestly, what it's saying is like maybe some some of you are trying to expedite a healing process, but it's actually showing that it's going to take some more time. So I definitely feel with temperance and the seven of pentacles, which is the card underneath that I accepted <laughs> on accident after I like took a look at the bottom of the deck. It was like wanting to be noticed. This is what's giving me this sort of like this patience. Patience is required. You have inspiration. You have a desire for something. I think that's great. Um, I think the mind, the mind is dangerous here because it's saying, well, as long as I know, Page of Swords, as long as I know what I need to do, then I can move forward. But how are you connecting the logic of something, right? Like if we go through day to day, to, going back to the day to day idea versus larger philosophy, where does your power come from? What is, what is needing to be healed here and for the power to be unchained, off the chain? I don't know why chain is coming up. If chain is for you, chains. The mind wants to logic through some sort of healing process or some sort of lesson. Um, and there's patience because I think it's want, the cards want us to heed the warning, not warning, just to be mindful, mindful of using our minds, our thoughts, too heavily leaning into um, intellect Let's find out some more. First of all, I do see a person here. 
There's, there's somebody here showing you power. They're showing you abundance. And then I think as a pair, or this person is showing you where your logic is faulty or logic is not connected to faith necessarily. That's what it is. Logic is not necessarily connected to faith. And then there's power in healing. There's power in repeating a lesson. How many of you are repeating lessons right now? Something's showing up again, reminding you of the compassion lesson and the lesson to trust. It's sort of like it's reminding you, uh, reminding us that we have power even when we go through uh, low vibrational moments where we return to lessons to re to reintegrate the reminder of reintegration it's wanting us i definitely feel like it's wanting us to feel more than think hmm. let's get some clarification here first of all i want to know what this page of swords is really saying this is in the center Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Judgment, and the Two of Cups. Uh, this might be the new new going back two weeks to the new moon in Libra. Uh, that was um, about all of our par our partnerships and how we show up for other people. So I feel like it's saying like, where have you been? This message is about self respect. It's about not doing. Um, too much for others that you wouldn't do for yourself first, like filling your own cup first. And I see that there is an assessment of how you've been showing up in relationship. It doesn't have to be love relationship, just like in a partnership or with another person. If there's a, per a particular person right now that you've been giving a lot of energy to, it's almost like it's draining your power a bit. Draining your power a bit. It's like you're pretending. Are you are you faking the relationship? Very interesting. This feels like chaos. This 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 reading feels like chaos to me. Well, that's real. You gotta take those feelings. I want to know what temperance is about. Show me temperance. Harmony. Okay. You're wanting to keep the peace. Page of Cups. I like to think of pages as aces sometimes where, but we've done the whole journey of the cups. We've gotten to the Ten of Cups. So like we know what makes us happy. Um, if happiness is all that you're after, it would make sense for you, for, um, for you to be conflict avoidant. I don't... I'm just thinking about the people pleasing here. And the Queen of Swords, she has she has clarity. This is visionary sort of thinking. Again, heavy on the thinking. And now we have the page, all the all the um, court cards for the swords. All of them. This is highly intellectualized and not at all. Um, this isn't fair to your heart. This isn't fair to, to your heart at all. Show me some more. What is the uh, Seven of Pentacles? The Hermit. I think that, okay, we have, sorry, the Hermit, which is Virgo, and the Nine of Cups. It's almost as if you know how to achieve happiness. Okay, we've established that. You know what makes you happy. We have also established that uh, you're in a very thinking state of mind uh, versus feeling. I think the reminder here, whoever's coming in with this reminder of abundance, this message of abundance, 
is going to remind you to come back to your feeling center. Because um, the mind will sometimes say, oh, I'll be happy once I get this, right? If we know what makes us happy, I'll be happy when I have cake for dessert. I'll be happy when I make X amount of money each week. I'll be happy when I I'm able to complete a certain, whatever, put your goal in there. And by intellectualizing our happiness, we're actually pushing it away because we're forgetting to, we're forgetting that we can be happy right now, regardless of circumstances. Because what I see as the circumstances right now is there is a, an ego lesson on the board. Um, so definitely be a little gentler with yourself as you navigate your thoughts, your minds, and, and how things are turning out for you this week. And focus more in on the feeling, the feeling of um, how you carry yourself through the day-to-day -day things, remembering, your, remembering some larger vision, some um, ultimate motive versus getting ahead sort of logically you know like the brain wants to jump tracks the heart like really makes things precious the heart it um savors the mind doesn't savor the heart savors um and anyway, regarding to your power, your abundance that's here on the table, it's coming from, from inside you. It's not coming from an external source. So that's why I'm really connected, connecting to the heart message here. And just like that, we have the chariot underneath, just saying hello. This, is a, this, this energy is chaotic here, and if this resonates for you, it's because you're graduating every time an old lesson shows up, whatever it is for you. It's not because there is undoing or we're going backwards. It's the next level of achievement in a lesson. Learning something new, for sure. Learning something new so that we can integrate it and just keep moving forward. I like it. Okay. Uh, check out the links in the description box below if you want to learn more about Sedona. Otherwise, check out the recommended listening. And I'll see you on the next one.